Hey guys, we're back here on this 01 P379. You got to see the intro on this one, talk about what we were gonna do. Uh, you got to see the frame, the before and after, the extensive amount of body work, rust that was on that frame. Um, I'm glad to be done with that part, so now we're on to the body. I've been in the other building painting on, painting on another 379 while the guys have been back here getting this one detrimmed and getting into the body work and just getting it ready for primer, which we're pretty close for primer now. So we wanna go ahead and knock, get, knock this video out. So up front, went ahead and pulled these fenders off. They had to be fully sanded and body worked. All the clear, I think you can see in the intro, all the clear was off of those, had dents and, and creases in them. So it's easier to paint a 379 hood with these fenders off anyways. So we'll huck them back on when we're done. I had to fold a crease in the hood where the tire had blew before. And just the clear was peeling off everywhere up front here. So it leads into the back, or towards the center here, we had a crack in the fiberglass. We took the glass out, gonna replace the windshield, both of them. And he had, he complained about a water leak. And we thought it was the chicken lights up top, but it ended up being, there was a hole behind the glass. So we found that on Thursday. So we went ahead and treated all the metal, osphoed it, put some POR 15 in there, repaired it, let it sew it over the weekend and then cleaned it up, got it ready, so it'll be a good seal when the new glass goes back in there. The roof on both the sleeper and the cab, pretty spider web, it's all the way into the fiberglass. Customer doesn't want to have it regel coated or replaced, so we're just gonna put a bunch of primer on there, get some more years out of it. Uh, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a complaint to begin with, but when we got up there, we noticed it. So we got to sand it back pretty good. We'll put some high build primer up there, it'll be good. To make sure the name's not gonna go back on the door, so we made sure we got rid of all that. I'm gonna get a good prime on this. The whole truck's gonna get etch primed and it's gonna get 2K primed. For all the galvanic corrosion that happens on all these Peterbilts where the steel hugs go into the aluminum bodies, all the way around the sleeper, around every hug, it gets that galvanic corrosion, which is aluminum's version of rust. So we just had some dents, some dings, scratches, chips. We're trying to take care of all of them. All the way back, we detrimmed pretty much everything we're going to take off. But as we talked about in the original video, he had the extensions on there. And he had saw in a, another YouTube video somewhere else where they had cut all of this off and left about three inches uh, going up it. So we did exactly what he wanted, trimmed that up, took off the rear brackets, put some rivets back in them. So they give it a little cleaner, slicker look. It'll actually make the frame look a little longer when it's all said and done. So those are gone, no more handles, don't have to worry about those. So yeah, we're pretty close to getting this thing in primer. Like I said, we're gonna etch prime it first to take care of all this aluminum. Try to make sure we don't get any more galvanic corrosion come back. But again, People have asked me in the past, you know, well, what do you do about this stuff? There's only so much you can do about it. You have dissimilar metals holding each other together. So when you pop, when you see that rust up underneath your, your Peterbilt or, or, or Kenworth, the pack car, you pop it with a, a pocket knife and it's white powder in there, that's galvanic corrosion. Just two dissimilar fasteners or metals together. They don't put anything, any barrier in between them. So the best way you can do is put a corrosion protection on there and then 2k prime it and hope we get as many years out of it as it did before so I'm gonna give you a quick tour let's see what it looks like now and then we're gonna get these guys back out here get some etch primer on there some 2k primer we'll let that dry for a day or so and we'll get the sand and get this thing ready for paint As you can see, we got this in etch prime now. We went ahead and etch prime the whole thing. One for corrosion protection, two for adhesion. On the multiple layers of paint, it also helps it all connect so we won't get any rings at the end. Just great for adhesion and corrosion protection. 